Hello class, it's your boy Tenchi, and today we will be learning about MRI, its functions, and its history. So, I bet you're wondering, how does MRI work? Well, MRI works by using a huge magnet to align the protons in a person's body, and by capitalizing on each tissue's unique magnetic moments, and then shooting them with radio waves. Each aligned proton resonates, and then that behavior is translated by a computer into those cross-cut images. So, why use radio waves instead of other waves in the electromagnetic spectrum? Well, radio waves have a much lower frequency than gamma rays or x-rays, so they have a longer wavelength and much lower energy. And this is perfect for clinical use because they, they don't pose any lasting effects on the patient, so you can get multiple MRIs with no side effects, which is great. So, MRI uses this Lamour frequency that scales in strength based off of the strength of the magnetic field that it's being used with. So, on average, the, the average strength of the magnetic field is about 3 Tesla. So that results in a radio wave with a strength of about 127.8 megahertz. That's it, yeah. Wait, is it megahertz? So, how did MRI come about? Well, it all started in 1952 when Columbus sailed the ocean blue. I mean, when Felix Bloch and Edward Purcell were, were awarded the Nobel Prize for discovering the magnetic resonance phenomenon. Then in 1971, Raymond Damadian discovered the magnetic relaxation times between tissues and, and tumors were different, which led to MRI being used in medical study. Then, in 1973, a scientist named Hounsfield developed computer-generated images for MRI. Then, in 1977, Mansfield developed rapid imaging technology. Then, over the next 20 years, MRI became like what it is today, in discovering defects and tumors in the human body. Then, in 2003, Paul C. Lauterberg and Peter Mansfield won the Nobel, the Nobel Prize for their additional discoveries concerning MRI as a diagnostic tool. What has MRI done for society? Well, a lot actually. MRI has made waves in neuroscience by allowing us to track the blood flow in the brain, which allows us to see how it reacts to certain stimuli. Also, MRI has made other medical practices completely obsolete, such as catheterization, which is the, the practice of inserting a long, thin tube into the heart in order to monitor its function. Well, MRI gives us higher quality data, and it's way less invasive.
So, this is what makes science so interesting. Scientists just working together to make the world a better place, you know? It goes beyond any selfish gain, and it's just for the advancement of humanity. And as always, thanks for watching. It's a video! <laughs> I'm so sad!